session, we are going to explore the People Hub in Microsoft Outlook. One of the nice features of Outlook is, is that it incorporates multiple modules. We discussed so far the uh, mail module. We discussed the, the calendaring option for making appointments and scheduling events and things of that nature. And now we are going to explore the People module. People module, it used to be called Contacts in the previous versions of Outlook, and it's still the same type of idea. You're managing the uh, people or the contacts in your uh, Microsoft Outlook. So we click here on People in the bottom, uh, bottom left. Of course, you have the list of contacts. You can uh, search for these uh, contacts. And then typically it will display the information here on the right hand side if there was uh, further information. Now in my case, I just imported some very basic information for each individual, but uh, typically you'd have a lot more information on the right hand side. You have the different letters of the alphabet. So if you have, uh, if you want to list all the people starting with G, uh, or in this case it's by last name, so G uh, sorting them by last name. So we can skip to that specific letter, and then the details, once we click on each individual, the details will show up on the right-hand side. Now, if we wanted um, a different view for this, notice that uh, right here under the current uh, different views, or current view, you can change this. So that default is the people view, and then if we want the business card, something like this, if you want to see the full card, the full card it would be basically all the information related to that individual and um, that we have entered. In my case, again, I don't have that much information entered, so not much is going to be displayed, but that's how you change it. If you want to just view their phone numbers, if you want to view a listing of them. Additionally, here on the left-hand side, you have the options for creating a new contact that I'll display in a moment, then creating a group a distribution list, uh, deleting the contact, of course, you can do it from here, and then scheduling a meeting with that specific individual from here, and so on. Then further uh, to the right, you can create a mail merge directly from the contacts option. And some of these options, I'll cover them in a moment as well. But for now, we are just exploring this general hub or the, this module within Microsoft Outlook. And then if somebody shared contacts with you, you'd open those shared contacts from this option as well. Additionally, you can categorize those uh, specific contacts by choosing specific categories or color-coded categories. And if you don't like some kind of code or setting here, you can uh, create new categories from the All Categories option. Following up and also marking uh, uh, contact as private, that typically is useful if you don't want your assistant, let's say you have given delegate access to somebody for your full mailbox or just contacts or a specific module and you're marking a, a contact or an item as private, in that case, by default, the delegates cannot view the private contacts or items. Now to create a contact, you click here on a new contact and then basically just fill in all this information for that specific contact. So we put in the full name, the job title, the email address, and basically fill in the web page, the business address, home address, and such. Then you put in their phone number, the home number, fax, mobile, and all that type of thing. Additionally, you can place notes in here as well. So basically the idea here is to place as many details as you can for this contact. Notice you also can add a picture to your contacts by clicking on the picture item right there. And uh, you have to locate the picture that you have for Huber. Then click OK. And notice the picture will be placed as part of that contact. Then we click on Save and Close. And now that uh, should be listed here under Hubert Sims. So notice it's down here. And notice at this point it's displaying all the different fields that we have completed or filled up for this contact. So that's how we create a contact within Microsoft Outlook, the People Hub or the People Module. Mm -hmm.